So, new week, new record, 2537. Overall, 1015 days, 1.863 million. Just shy of 30k for the month, 29997. 136k for the month and the year itself. 170 to start this run, up to two days. So, new week came in, and we're yet again on <coughs> two point campus just to keep it going, really, just see if we can get a bit more on it. So we'll continue the daily pass quests, it's only 8 points but it all adds up in the end. We're on Broke Tartle again to get another unlock and a daily play. So a little bit more of an achievement boost from Cube Airport early on to Tuesday. So a first for 2024, this week is a quadruple attendance. Where we start tonight at RPA with the Scholars, with a Mac over the road on Friday for the Cup against Sheffield. We're back here again on Saturday for the Betties against Bradford. And it's a long train trip to Barrow for the women. So yeah, hopefully this is the start of a four-star week. So as we said, four games in a week this week, starting with this one. 685 overall, 590 for Wigan, seven against St. Scholars. It's not a good record though, two wins and four losses. It's a one-game losing streak. 565 for the men overall, 27 scholarship, over 280 home wins. First visit to RPA since last October, which was a win over St. Helens in the reserves. That's the 10th attendance for 2014. So, half-time at RPA, not the best for first half for Wigan. They scored in the last minute, but they are currently losing 10-4. Wigan 4, St. Helens 10. So, full-time here at RPA, and considering we were 10-4 down at half-time, that was a pretty good second half from Wigan. Full-time Wigan scholarship 16, St. Helens 10. So, that's back on the winning run here at RPA. All good. Attendance-wise, next one is Friday night over the road against Sheffield. Something we haven't actually done for a while, feels weird to actually say it, is complete a game. Cube Airport and now complete, 2020, 1000 a nice touch that it does thank you for playing as well. Well, no major record this week, as you can see, 12,169, so it's a good gap between the 12529 from last week. 145k for the year, just under 40 for the month, and 204 weeks, and 1.87 million overall. The moves because of all the weekends going travel wise so far, but let's go. Sheffield Eagles is the second one we've seen after the wheelchair we saw home and away last year. We got a 98 team we've seen though because it's a men's team tonight. 686 overall, 594 for Wigan. 34 for men's Charles Cup game, 8 in the sixth round. We are looking for three consecutive wins and it's 11 to 10 into 2024. So our time ADW, Wigan 12, Sheffield 12. Not the score we expected, but it is what it is. So, full time. Wigan 44, Sheffield 18. Pretty good. We are expecting another two games this weekend, but we're hoping for the red lock. We are hoping to be over the, over the road tomorrow for the Bradford Desires, but the way this weekend's going so far, we'll see. So, a very mixed weekend continues. It's strange, but we got here at a just past uh, half 11 this morning. So then we told that the kickoff was delayed because Bradford weren't here, so we literally sat here from half eleven to quarter one. It has now kicked off as you can see. Just a six was an eight, six eight seven overall, five nine five for Wigan. Third against Bradford Zairs, played two one two, so it's a good omen. Two hundred eighty fifth game between here, the stadium and the Leisure Centre. Twenty six reserve game overall, four consecutive wins we're looking for, and twelve attendances in twenty twenty four, and it's freezing. So, half time at a very chilly RPA, Wigan 22, Bradford 4. So, a very long day indeed, as we had a player chest off for Barrow, so it does finish. Wigan 28, Bradford 14. Successful weekend so far, and all being well, we'll be going to Barrow tomorrow. We've just got to wait for a few rare replacement times, so. but yeah. Win on Wednesday, win yesterday, and a win today. So, a little gap between the rugby day week. We're on a game called Trash is fun because we need to do one of the medals on TA. Well, there you go. Trash can be fun, as you can see. Nice work on the team into this game. <laughs> but pretty good game. Bit of recycling and a bit of zombie killing as well. So, a very early start on Sunday morning. Not the one that you expected five, six days ago. Which is going to be a bus to <coughs> Wigan at 10 o'clock. It's now a bus at 8 because of the rail replacement. We do like doing adventures, so this one today should be an interesting one. So, very early start, uh, a trip up to Barrow, via a few other routes. Bus to Wigan is done, so we're now here at Wigan North Western. We've got a bit of a wait for the first train of the day, up to Preston, then Preston to Lancaster, Lancaster to Barrow, and we should be there, so let's go. Off to Barrow, we're going past the station. So, like two done, which is the train from 
Wiggins Preston. So we're now pressing for about 10-15 minutes for the train to Windermere, which goes through Lancaster, and then we're on to hopefully the bus. So we're on the train as you can see, Preston to Lancaster. So we've been through here before, we've never got off before, we are finally off at Lancaster Station. So we're now going to try and get a railway replacement, I think there's a hen or something, there's a lot of screaming in the background, but we're off to Barrow hopefully. So there you go, just under, well, two hours or so, and we are here at Barrow and Fairness Station. However, we've got a bit of a walk now, and then we're off to Craven Park. So yeah, here in more than good time. A replacement, a very good service. So a bit of a walk we've arrived at Northern Competition Stadium, home of Barrow Raiders. So here we are, Northern Competition Stadium. Last time we came here was the Mac Johnson Prestige last April. Very tense game that day, hopefully not as tense today. As it was a win last year, it is played 1-1-1 one, one, one against Barrow. 688 overall, 596 for Wigan. We're hoping for a 400th overall win. Also hoping to avoid an 80th away loss. 10th Women's Challenge Cup game, non-final, 11th overall. Five consecutive wins is the hope, and it is a 13th attendance in 2024. Hopefully not an unlucky 13. So, our time here at Northern Competition Stadium, I didn't think I'd be saying this. Battle 14, Wigan 6, we have been horrible with the ball today. So, we're going to just yeah. score. Izzy Rowe, stepping up to convert. It's a draw, what happens? It's a draw, really. Yeah. Points. It's just a draw. Points, yeah. Points difference in points for again. Yes! You beauty, well done, Izzy. You absolute beauty. So full time and geez, just lucky I don't have an heart attack. That was a heart ringer. As you can see from the scoreboard over there, full time Barrow 18, Wigan 20. Last minute of the game, Barrow went over and it was given as a forward pass. So this long day has been made worth it because that was an amazing performance in the second half. Couldn't catch it on the way there, but there we go. There's a derailed train that's been sat there since Friday. And it doesn't look like it's gonna move any time to you either. Well there you go, we set off at eight o'clock this morning. We've still got the bus to get home, but as you can see there, 20 past seven at night, we just got a bus to get home, and a very long trip to Barrow will be complete. But it was worth it to see them win.